So when the Grand Theft Auto 6 leaks came out, the GTA community made it their mission to find out who was going to be behind the voice and the motion capture movements for Jason and Lucia in GTA 6. And the community has come up with some pretty good guesses, for Jason in particular, a man by the name of Brian Zampella, who kind of has the exact same build, has the exact same style as Jason, from what of course we've seen in the leaks, and there's also things that tie him to Rockstar as well. And really, ever since the GTA 6 leaks have come out, Brian Zimpella has been putting out a handful of teasers, whether it's him in a Tommy Versetti-styled beach shirt laying underneath some palm trees using Vice City hashtags. He basically seems to be leaning into the fact that, yeah, he knows he's Jason. And this has come to a boiling point over the weekend, as on his Instagram, he put out this picture right here. It's him in sort of a gray tank top, a backwards red and white baseball cap staring into the ocean at the beach. And there's a couple of things here that literally scream Grand Theft Auto 6 and Jason. For starters, and I wish I could actually show you guys the leaked footage so you could see what Jason looks like, but if I'm able to describe him, it's basically this. A gray tank top with a backwards red and white hat with a logo on there. He's got cargo shorts, sort of high white socks, and then some tennis shoes or sneakers. So he's basically leaning in to the whole Jason outfit, and he's at the beach staring off into the sunset which we know since the game is going to be taking place in Vice City and its surrounding areas. That, of course, is Miami and basically the entire state of Florida. There's tons of beaches with tons of beautiful sunsets that look like this. So he really is leaning into the fact that he is Jason, or at least on the surface is Jason. The song that is also playing is Brian Adams' Run to You, which was also featured in Grand Theft Auto Vice City. I don't think he did that on accident. So a lot of people are saying, this guy is Jason, he is teasing us, something's happening here. But unfortunately, I'm here to kind of burst a bubble as it looks like Brian Zampella is definitely not going to be playing Jason. And instead is just leaning into the fact that fans jumped all over him for the role of Jason when the leaks came out. And obviously, as a small-time actor, any of the attention is probably pretty good for him. For starters, why we know this isn't Jason. Number one, Rockstar has one of the strictest non-disclosure agreements or NDAs of all time. This essentially means if you sign something, you're not allowed to do that, or you could face severe legal repercussions, you could be fired, you could be fined. You basically don't want to break and NDA. And the reason we know this is because a couple of the actors and actresses that played Red Dead Redemption 2 characters have actually come out and said their NDA was super strict. So Callie Vernoff, who played Susan Grimshaw in Red Dead Redemption 2, said in a podcast, so yeah, so since then, like we, we haven't, you know, we had all these restrictions. We couldn't meet up anywhere. We couldn't take pictures. We couldn't, we weren't supposed to follow each other on social media. So there's absolutely no way if Brian Zampella signed the same NDA that the Red Dead Redemption 2 actors and actresses did, there's no way he'd be able to go on social media and post these kinds of pictures. And even though he isn't going out there and saying, yes, I'm Jason from Grand Theft Auto 6, I still think Rockstar's NDA is way too strict and there'd be no way of really dancing around it with technicalities. And if you're wondering why Rockstar has that strict of an NDA, it's because they know how how passionate the GTA community is and they want to make sure that all their T's are crossed and all their I's are dotted as well. In that same podcast where Callie Vernoff actually revealed that the NDA stopped them from doing that, she went on to say, that NDA prevented us. We couldn't get together. Do you remember that weird thing? I don't know if you were a part of this one, like somehow some crazy fans out there in the interwebs put together that there was a prequel happening or a sequel or that they knew there was another Red Dead and they managed to figure out that like Ben and Rob were probably coming back and then they sort of tracked all their like their like mutual new friends on social media and managed to put together most of the cast. So that is why Rockstar is super strict. You can't follow anyone on social media. You aren't allowed to make posts like this. And so in my opinion, this should truly debunk the fact that Brian Zampella is Jason from GTA 6. So that right there is the first red flag. The real Jason is probably sitting there off on social media or not making any post whatsoever because they legally aren't allowed to do so. 
So just keep that in mind there that even though Brian Zampella is leaning into this and when the leaks first came out, I even said, you know, this could be the guy based on his facial features, his build, his relationship in working in existing Rockstar Games titles, but I don't believe it to be him anymore. Now, the second reason we should all believe that Brian Zampella is not Jason and that his teasers have nothing to do with GTA 6 is because there's a source with information. This is posted on Twitter the other day from Legacy Killer HD. He's not Jason in GTA 6, according to a source. And that's all I'll say about it. Brilliant troll though, dot dot dot. So he's probably not allowed to reveal his source for obvious reasons as he might be in the know of legitimate information and of course does not want to reveal himself. But I'd be pretty confident that if someone has a source like that and willing to put it out on social media, that this guy is not Jason and that he's simply leaning in to the Jason aesthetic. I mean, think of all the posts he's making with the soundtrack from the original Vice City, from the outfit from the leaks of Jason's character, to the fact that he's on the beach and under palm trees. When we know the game takes place in Vice City, it truly does feel like it is not Jason. Now, Legacy Killa added more follow-up to this as well in a separate post that said, I'll add this here. There's a lot of people that believe Zampella is Jason. Check my tweet to see how serious some of them are. You guys all seem more not believing for obvious reasons that I wish the broader community understood. I only reached out to, yes, a source about this because Zempella was leaning into it more and more. It's like the Billy and Kai used to be protagonist narrative that some ran with when the leaks happened, when in reality they're just pedestrians in game. Zempella is a good troll, but some of the things people are doing is ridiculous. So again, Legacy Killer HD doubling down on the fact that yes, he does have a source and that Brian Zempella is not Jason in Grand Theft Auto 6. Now, I guess that begs the question, well, who is going to play Jason? And this is something we've talked about in a previous video. I'll leave a link to it in the description. It might actually be the work of an actor, Matthew Metzger. I'll give you guys the long story short. He was the voiceover actor for Midnight Club Los Angeles' protagonist, another Rockstar Games title, as well as providing voiceover work in Red Dead Redemption. And long story short, a lot of the lines that he says in Midnight Club Los Angeles line up with the lines that he said in the GTA 6 leaks, specifically the diner robbery scene. And not that it 100% means he's going to be Jason, but he also looks very similar to the actor in question. So could it be Matthew Metzger? It's possible. Honestly, at this point in time, with all the confusion that's going on, it wouldn't be surprising if Rockstar put out something like this. He ain't Jason. I mean, really, at this point, uh, we can't really predict anything that's going to happen. But I'd love to hear from you guys in those comments down below. What do you think of these teasers by Brian Zampella? Do you think he is the real Jason? Do you think it is someone else? Let me know what you think in those comments down below. I'd love to hear from you guys down there. If you guys did go on to enjoy this video, though, a like rating would, of course, be awesome. And be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel if you are new. You want to stay up to date on all latest GTA and all the Rockstar Games videos that I'll be doing here on my channel. And be sure to ring that notification bell as well. Sometimes YouTube just doesn't work, and if you ring that bell, you'll always be guaranteed to be notified when new videos arrive. But of course, as always, guys, thank you all so much for watching. Take care, and I'll see you guys in the next video.